Following up on the previous EMP-related video, today as opposed to talking about what won't work, we are going to take a look at some of the things that should still be working after an EMP event, regardless of if it's an attack or a natural occurrence. So let's go ahead and get started in no particular order. Number one, your car. That is, if your car was made before the year 1990, and preferably even earlier than that. The amount of electronics in vehicles has grown exponentially, particularly since the year 2000. So modern vehicles' reliance on microprocessors makes them easy victims to an EMP. That, unfortunately, will reduce most vehicles to roadblocks. If your vehicle was made between 1990 and 2000, you still have a chance that it could run, but there is still a risk depending upon how many electronics were installed. Your safest bet is if you have access to a vehicle that was made before 1990. Number two, off-road vehicles. That is, dirt bikes, ATVs, and motorcycles with simple systems that don't rely on modern electronics to operate them which could be ideal for you depending upon where you are since there will be many useless cars cluttering up the roads particularly in and around major cities and an added tip here if you are planning on getting a motorcycle or an off-road vehicle for survival purposes choose one that can be converted to diesel number three vintage electronics and I mean vintage I mean anything that uses vacuum tubes as opposed to solid-state electronics. During the atomic age, when EMPs were first being tested, vacuum tube electronics was all they had. And guess what? Those devices stood up to the electromagnetic pulses that were being released during the experiments. Their machines didn't fail. Number four, basic electrically operated devices and motors such as power tools, lawnmowers, kitchen appliances. That is, only if they don't have electronic controls. The EMP will fry any electronics, but if you have basic motor-operated devices that work with a simple switch, they should still work if they were not plugged in when the EMP struck. And number five, batteries. Batteries should not be affected by an EMP, and neither should simple battery-operated devices be damaged. Keeping in mind that there is hardly anything out there anymore that is simple by definition when it comes to microelectronics being included with absolutely everything. And you just knew I had one more for you, didn't you? Call it number six if you will. Solar panels. Believe it or not, solar panels can stand up to an EMP although not without some complications. You can expect that there will be a reduction in output after the pulse, but the panels will still work. Where you would have a real problem is with the solar charge controller used to charge your batteries. Since this is electronic, it would get fried, so it wouldn't hurt to have some spare parts put up in a safe place preferably a Faraday cage. So I hope you found this list helpful. If there's anything you would like to add to the list, please feel free to post it in the comment section down below. It could be helpful to other viewers. It could be helpful to me. You never know. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Subscribe if you are new and check out some of the other videos. If you get the chance, you may find something helpful. So all that being said, as always, stay frosty folks and thanks for watching.